How are you doing today? How are things going? Have you been applying these concepts that I've been sharing? Have you been seeing victories? Have you been seeing failures? That'll be part of it. Today's message, the title is PCP, Pressure Clutch Performer. This is one of my all-time favorite messages to share because I believe that having a clutch mentality is not only something that one you know innately possesses, which is true, but also can be acquired. It can be acquired through practice, through mental training, and the things I'm going to talk to you about today. PCP is a force to be reckoned with. Pressure, clutch, performer. Let's look at pressure. Pressure is the ability to embrace and relish high pressured stake outcomes in order to produce maximum success and achievement. The ability to embrace and relish high pressured stake outcomes. I mean, these are for big stakes in order to produce maximum success and achievement. Clutch has the idea of the confidence to seize the moment with calm poise and come through with with all the chips on the line. The confidence to seize the moment with calm poise and come through when all the chips are on the line. Performer relishes the big stage and the high emotional moments where it's all on the line and it's time to shine. When you put that together, those three ingredients, you come up with a dynamic force that is, you know, willing to be the go or the hero. And you have to be willing to do that and to step into those moments. Well, I don't have that. I, I, I get too intimidated in those situations. No, no. That's why you're in this program. So we can start building that. And it's not always just at the end of the game. It's moments in the game where, you know, You need to come up big. It maybe doesn't always produce the outcome. So don't think of it like that, right? It's like maybe a team has been, you know, stomping you. They got a 10-point lead and you got to break their momentum. And you just determine you're going to drive hard to the basket and score. Boom, you just do it. And and, uh, that breaks the momentum. That's a clutch play. Does that make sense? So here's some questions for you. Do you believe you are a clutch performer? You got to think that in your mind. Do you believe it? Maybe you don't believe it. Okay, well, at least you're being honest with yourself. Do you want to be a clutch performer? Do you want to be? You should want to be a clutch performer. It doesn't matter what your level is. That's why you play the game. So that you can help your team come up big when the, all the chips are on the line. Do you understand that coming through in the clutch is one of the greatest feelings and accomplishments that you can experience? I mean, there is nothing more euphoric, ecstatic, exciting than to come up big in those clutch moments. You just shine. Everybody's looking at you, and here you go. And so I'm going to share with you a story of kind of like my first time, really my first time in live game experience when I experienced a clutch moment. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to, at the end of this message, I'm going to go back I'm going to give you some ideas of what I did practicing to get to this moment. 
So I was doing a lot of preparation stuff that I wasn't even aware of at the beginning, okay? But I'm going to get to that at the end of the story. So I'm on, I'm on the stage. I'm, I'm, I'm starting on my high school team. Things are starting to come together. And we have one of our first big preseason games. It's against San Juan from California. And we are just getting destroyed. They were killing us. They're up by 15. And I was so determined, you know, to try to score and make an impact that I was shooting the ball. And I was coming up with blanks. Blank, blankety, blank, blank, blank. Shooting. Brick house. That was me. Missing everything known to man. Crowd is packed. You know, full of our student body. And it gets down to like, you know, the beginning of the fourth quarter. And we're down by 12, 15. And the student body starts to empty. They start just walking out. And I was just like so deflated, just thinking, man, here was the time to shine. And I missed this big moment. But I kept telling myself, you know, maybe the next shot, maybe the next shot. And all of a sudden, the shot started to fall. Momentum switched. And in a dramatic fashion, we just kept coming back, coming back, coming back. And then I hit some shots at the end. And I don't remember the exact scenario, you know, of free throws and shots. Student body was coming back in as, you know, it was getting down to seven and five and, you know, six and then three. And we ended up in this huge, huge game. Crowd was alive. And we ended up winning. And that was my first big moment. Like, I, I just couldn't believe what had just happened. But, you know, I look back and I, you know, again... I want you to know that I'm, I'm thanking God for everything. And I never, but I never doubted myself. And I kept shooting till that magic moment began to take place and happen. And I literally experienced my first clutch moment. It was so euphoric. And what I realized is that I enjoyed it. It wasn't like this overwhelming, the the anxiety and the nerves and everything it was all good. It was like, it was like energizing, right? You know, and you can make you can make certain emotions negative or positive. But I I just started to relish that moment from that time on. Here are some success points. You have to see the moment before it happens. You have to see yourself hitting that big shot, making that big play, getting that big contract, whatever it might be, winning that championship. That's called visualizing. And you have to work at it. You have to literally see it in picture form. You have to not only see the moment before it happens, you have to set the stage for the moment. You got to be ready in that moment right? Setting the stage, staying with it, staying into your, into your, into your job. What, what are you doing? Your focus. I shoot the ball. I miss. I'm going to keep shooting. I'm going to keep, you know, trying to get it going. And then last, you're going to seize the moment, the, the momentum in the moment. You're going to seize the momentum in the moment. In that moment, and it starts to happen for you, and you begin to start seeing, here we go. You got to go right into it, to grasp it, to seize the mo momentum in the moment. So you got to see the moment before it happens. You got to set the stage for the moment and you got to seize the moment, the momentum in the moment. So, wow, that's really nice. Nice story, great, good finish. But still, you know, I can, I can see those principles, but you have to decide some things here in conclusion. You have to decide if you're ready to be the go to the hero. It's tough to walk out 
of a game that you don't hit that shot or you don't make that play or you don't come through in some certain you know, event that you're trying to accomplish. You're trying to shine. But you have to be willing to say, I'm going to still get up on that stage. I'm going to step up to the, the, the free throw line or up to bat or whatever it may be. So you have to, and this is the biggest key of all in this message, try creating and practicing clutch moments, okay? So for me, it was in the basketball realm, it was games around the world. So what I would do is you, you know, you have to make a hook shot, then you make, you know, like short shot, and you, you have the, uh, this thing, you're going around the world with shots. But if you miss the shot, you can chance it, and if you miss it, you have to go back and start over. If you want to go back one, because maybe that shot's easier, then you have one shot. It's one and done. And so what I would do is say, okay, I'm going to go around the world five times. And so I didn't even know that I was building this clutch mindset. You know, it's got harder, the pressure. You know, you miss that first one. You got to make that second one. You got to start all over. You know, I get like to the third game, you know, I'm going to go five times around, get three times around. I have a little short shot and I miss it. And then I go, it's okay here. You know, I'm going to, I'll make it. You know, I shoot it again and I miss it. Have to go all the way back, all the way back, start over again. Parents would be screaming at me. You got to come in for dinner. You got to eat. You got to eat your food. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it until I go around five times. And I just keep going and I cry and I fight till I did. And I didn't even know that this was producing this clutch gene. Another game I used to play is called clutch. Clutch would be like you pick a certain spot and you're trying to, you can miss the first shot. And then how many in a row do you make? And you're trying like to prove yourself. So let's say you make 10 in a row. Well, you got to try to make 11 and then 12. And growing up, you know, in when I was coaching, you know, in our in our garage with our kids, we used to put up a board and we'd have different spots and we'd have who who made how many at these spots and who was the top clutch got player, right? And it was awesome. And that was just a way of building that that clutch mindset. Then another game is shadow one on one. And that's you pretend like you're playing, you know, a person in front of you and you're gonna say, Okay, I'm taking all, you know, mid range jumpers. So I'm going to make a move and I'm going against Michael Jordan or LeBron James or whatever. And if I score, it's one point. If I miss, it's two points. And so you can go to 10. And so you, you know, you miss, you're down 0-2. And then you make the next one, it's 1-2. And then you miss the next one, it's 1-4. And it's the first one to 10. So then you could go, you could go 1-1-1. One and, one and one, one point for you, one point for your shadow point, opponent, or you go one point for you, two, okay, that's a, high, a little bit higher level, high school level, and you go three, college level, it's a one to three, or you can go a one to four if you if you wanted to. And you can change up your shots and what type of shots. Could be all three pointers or not. But all of these things will help you. These types of drills, exercises can help you. And you can... You can find others that you can do that put pressure on yourself in terms of, you know, free throw shooting or whatever, and you're building that clutch gene. So, do you have PCP? Are you willing to fight for PCP? Do you understand having PCP in your life, knowing that it is the ultimate weapon that you have that you notice most of these other players don't have because you've worked at it and you developed it, makes you a pressure clutch performer. Now let's go out there and let's make it happen. See you next time.